Your arms are lighting up the internet. You have to know this, right? <laughs> so somebody online said, Love and Thunder, is that the name of the movie or is that what Natalie Portman names each of her arms? <laughs> so how did you do That's it? good. Well, um, it was really um, exciting to obviously have the opportunity to play a superhero. I'm yeah. given that task of, of becoming um, a six foot character as a 5'3 woman, <laughs> which is, you know, a combination of me working hard and also a lot of movie magic. Right. Um, so it was it was great because I think women, you know, were usually asked to get as small as possible yeah. and, you know, almost disappear. And to be asked to like get as big as possible, like eat as much as you can, lift as much as you can, is like <laughs> pretty wild, maybe once in a lifetime kind of request. So eat it as was, much as you can. So how yes. much did you? What did you eat? And how much? Well, I'm vegan, which is oh, like a okay. whole separate kind of like. So there was a lot of like vegan protein shakes. Like yeah, um, there are a lot of protein shakes. Um, <laughs> Like too many, and I don't want to have them anymore. <laughs> you're never gonna have one again, right? Um, a lot of like lentils, and because yeah. you, you're really trying to have like clean, good protein. I mean, there was plenty of other stuff too. I I love food, so you know, there's yeah. lots of, you know, any cheat days? Yeah, I mean, I don't think of it as cheat. I feel like, I feel Balance. like we were. It was good to eat as much as possible. Yeah. And not you know, of course, not be having like dessert at every meal, but like. You know, it was right. it was good to be tasked with like eat. Jane, you've never played a role like this before, so yeah, totally different for you. Did what did Tessa offer you some advice on Tessa that? Tessa was yeah, it was really lucky that Tessa and Chris, of course, Chris has obviously done it for like a decade, yeah. and Tessa has done it before for for her Valkyrie roles in the Avengers and in. Thor Ragnarok, um, and so they were both really helpful in helping me understand like the nutrition aspect and also like the rehabilitation of kind of like doing the ice baths and the which I didn't actually. You didn't do did. the challenge. I, I I I'm I'm not good with pain, um, but I did the saunas. I was like, that's, okay, that's that's nice. relaxing though. Um, and um, and I remember with Tessa. I was complaining one day because there was like asparagus at every meal for like a week. It was like breakfast, lunch, and so dinner would asparagus. have asparagus in it. And I was like, is that the only thing that's available right, right now? Like why are we, and she was like, actually I asked for that because it's really good for like losing water weight. Oh, it's a In like a healthy that's way. Right. And that's really important for the like muscles to pop. And yeah. I was like, Oh. I'm taking mental notes right now. I by know. The way. I was like, hot tip, Tessa. So like, now I won't complain about that. Exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. Being six foot tall, and you know, just getting bigger for the role, packing on more muscle. What did that do for you, um, for your like emotions and internally? Did that make you feel a, a certain way? It's a really big difference. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think as a small woman, I can like, I enter most spaces and like don't feel noticed, even though obviously yeah. I'm a, a known person. Mm -hmm. I can easily kind of, for better and worse, I can kind of camouflage, you know? And yeah. when you're that tall, like Chris walks into a room, there's no hiding. Like right. everyone, you know, turns For multiple and reasons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but also, just the sheer size of your yeah. physique can also just attract a lot of attention. Um, so, and there's a lot of power in it and a lot of like, you know, no one's gonna mess with you. Like right. I, I walk into so many environments and feel afraid. And so I think there's there's an incredible confidence an incredible presence, a power, and also the responsibility of like, what you do will be seen, yes. you know, when, yes. you're, when you're that that tall and also just the perspective it's like you know I could see <laughs> over people's heads like I could see That's what's a dream, was right? happening I know I'm like I'm usually just seeing the bottoms of people's from like chins yeah <laughs> so I mean seeing two strong female leads on screen as superheroes I mean especially given the nature of what specifically is happening today yes um how does that make you feel as a woman I mean that's empowering right it's incredible to have um First of all, female friendship on screen, yes. I think, was really amazing and lucky to experience with Tessa, who I've been friends with for years now, since we worked on Annihilation together and then yeah. we worked on Time's Up together. So to have that friendship in real life and then get to have it on screen a little bit, um, <laughs> I'd love there to be more. Um, 
uh, was was really wonderful. And then also I think for all kids watching to see a variety of female characters right. who have their own superpowers, their own personalities, their own styles, um, really is such a gift. Because I know growing up, I would be like, oh, there's the girl in the movie. I guess that's the one I'm supposed to relate yeah. to. Yeah, and she always needs to be rescued. Yeah, you know? yeah. Or even if there was, you know, there was just like kind of one choice, I yeah. feel like. Um, and here there's like, you, you get to be like, oh, we're human beings who right. have a, infinite possibilities of ways of being. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days. Give or take. And so, your, did your kids get to go on set as well? Yes. How they much street were there. cred are they getting with their mom being the mighty Thor? <laughs> it was it was pretty cool to do something that they were so excited about. I mean, it was just like the most fun, fun yeah. thing to do in that way. And then working with Taika, he's an amazing director, such he's a personality. Incredible. I love him so much and um, I'm so in awe of what he's able to do. I mean, none of these things should be able to coexist in a movie. Like, the this like wacky, like very silly out there humor and like very heartfelt, genuine emotion right. and romance and extreme action and like horror. There's like kind of everything exactly. all mashed all. together and, and he makes it be one film and yeah. it's just extraordinary. And then just seeing his ability to be spontaneous and create on the fly is unparalleled. Like I've never seen anything like it. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.